well hey guys welcome back to my channel i am so excited to be back again with another video to share about a heatless hairstyle that i absolutely love that i have been rocking for like the last few months or so and i just love it my name first is Shantae Simpson. I am a licensed cosmetologist, beauty blogger, entrepreneur who has recently launched um, Brown Sugar Glam Collection where I have lashes, lip gloss, and body butters and other products as well. You can check that out at your convenience. But today I'm focused on a hair tutorial, actually not really a hair tutorial, but a product review on a product that I found that I feel is really, really good. The combination of the system is just a really good, um, creates a really good result. And yeah, so before I get into that, I wanna touch on what you'll find if you're here uh, in this channel. In this channel, you'll find makeup tutorials, you'll find hair care uh, reviews, you'll find, um, um, yeah, ma mainly like hair care tutorials is really my focus since that really is my background. That is what you'll get here at this channel. So if you're looking for a channel that is focused on natural hair as well as makeup tutorials, then hit subscribe, like, and follow. And you can also check out my Instagram as well. I have two Instagrams as well. So anyway, let's jump right into it. This style right here is very similar to the last few styles that I've created. I wanted to focus on a heatless roller set type look because that actually is like my favorite look of all the natural styles that, um, it could just be the length of my hair and where I'm at right now, but I'm really enjoying the roller set look. So I want to hop on here to show you guys the result of my latest um, look. This right here, I create these curls using a system by Carol's Daughter. And I'm just gonna mention them real quick because it's really not the focus of this tutorial. It's just a mention. Um, I just want to mention it because I always like to tell you guys what products I use in event you decide to give it a try and you want the same exact result, you can use the same exact products. Um, most of them are available, mine is not. But anyway, let's get to it. So I started with the Carol's Daughter Goddess Strength line. I, I know this is a newer line. I've never seen this before, right? So I wanted to show you guys the, the line. So it comes with a, a fortifying shampoo and a fortifying conditioner. That's these two right here. It comes with that. And it also comes with a leave-in. This is the leave-in right here. It's Divine Strength Leave-In Cream. So it comes with the leave-in as well. And so what I did was I shampooed my hair with the fortifying shampoo. It says what it claims is that one use will give you 15 times stronger hair, which is really like, wow, <laughs> 15 times stronger. Like the claim is pretty amazing, right? Um, I, I mean, I felt like my hair was stronger. Um, I didn't have any, um, any breakage or uh, any shedding or anything like that going on, but I do feel like my hair felt stronger. Definitely, but this system right here is for weak, breakage prone hair. So that is what this system is for. It is also a strength and length system. So the goal is to increase growth and to strengthen the hair. So in that case, I can use it because I can use some growth as well. Um, and yeah, so um, I also followed up with the conditioner. I let, put that, applied that in my hair in the shower, left that in for about 15 minutes or so and then I rinsed it out with cool water. It has castor oil, ginger, and black cumin seed in it. Same for the shampoo. So that's pretty cool. Castor oil, ginger, black cumin seed and then I followed up with the leave-in conditioner. This is the Divine Leave-In Conditioner uh, Leave-In Cream for weak breakage prone hair and it has no parabens, no petroleum, mineral oil, or artificial colors. And it is also made with castor oil, ginger, black cumin seed. So that is that system right there. So I just use like a few pumps of this. Like I didn't use much. I used just a little, um, like that much on each section. 
you see there like that much on each section and I section my hair into four different parts and I just applied that all over four different parts applied that all over and you could not see it and you could not see um, this when I put it in my hair which is good usually a good sign of you're not gonna see a lot of um, residue left behind the hair so um, I applied it in my hair and it melted right in so that was good um, and then I followed up with styling aid right so for styling aid I decided to use the Nairobi foam lotion and as you can see I've used it up <laughs> Yeah, that's the foam. That's the foam lotion that I use for my hair. For my hair, um, a, a little bit about Nairobi. Nairobi is more of a professional product. Um, you can get it from usually from a distributor if you're licensed. If you're not licensed, then you can find this product on um, on um, Amazon, which is where I got mine from. I'm licensed, but I don't know who the distributor is. And I didn't really want to make the effort because this is all I wanted. I didn't want the relaxer system and all that other stuff that it, that they have. So this is all I wanted from Nairobi. So I just purchased this from Amazon. Um, what else can I tell you? So I used to use Nairobi back in the day when I was relaxed. And I also, it was also a go-to product that I use for my uh, for my clients, you know, it was definitely a product that I could count on for a really smooth roller wrap, a really smooth, um, a really nice smooth uh, a wrap with a lot of volume and bounce. It does that. It does that. It does that for relaxed hair. Um, but yeah, and it's not crunchy. It's fast drying, just like it says, and it adds so much body to the hair. Um, it usually can, can be combined with most products without a problem at all. So I want to give it a try on my own natural hair because I think I'm in the natural like what five years now, five years now I've been natural and I usually just use the natural products because that's just usually my go-to, the natural hair care products formula this specifically for natural hair because of the oils and the way the products are made. Usually that's usually my go-to, but lately I have been going towards what I'm more familiar with and that is foam wrap because foam wrap usually sets easier as far as the hold. It usually has a really good hold on the curl. It usually doesn't have as much frizz and it dries fast. I have an issue with products that take forever to dry. Creams can sometimes be very, take a while for my hair to dry already because it's so thick. So I found a found something that dries a little bit easier and that's foam wrap. So, but before I applied the foam wrap, I did want to mention that I used uh, an oil. This is an oil that I made and um, it is just castor oil. Um, it also has, um, let's see, so castor oil is the main oil. I also have rosemary oil and then I have peppermint oil in it as well. And I just combined those ingredients in here and, and they're just essential oils. And I'm gonna tell you, um, the first time I did my hair with the Nairobi, the same system, which was yesterday, I did my hair with the same system. And I did not use this oil. I used another oil that I made, but it's way lighter, right? It's like a way lighter oil. And I wanted to make sure that I used an oil that was thick, that had a lot of moisture. Cause my hair yesterday when I did this system came out kind of dry. So I, I, wanted, to, I wanted to make sure that I redid the roller set because I wanted to make sure that I gave the product a fair try. I hate to jump on here and say, it's a whack product. When I know it's not a whack product, I've been using the Roby for many years, 15 years now. So I can tell you that usually you can count on this. I've used Nairobi on relaxed hair, on natural hair of many textures, and usually the result is really good. But for some reason, my hair didn't come out so well yesterday. I'm blaming it on two things. Um, I believe my hair didn't come out really good yesterday because my hair might not been completely dry. That is the main issue with the roller set. If you bother the roller set when it's, the curls are forming, 
and you don't really let it dry, you're gonna be left with a ball of frizz. Usually that's the first issue, right? The second issue is you don't have enough oil in your hair, really. And usually when I don't have enough oil in my hair, my hair comes out frizzy. So I don't feel like I had a heavier, heavy enough oil in my hair on yesterday to really create the look that I was going for. So my hair had like a rather light, fluffy look with frizz not gonna quite work because that's not the results that I was going for. I was going for a really smooth set with volume, with um, moisture. You know, I want the curls to look very organized and very pretty and soft. I felt like I was able to achieve that look the second time around. So what I did was I rolled my hair again at night and the rollers that I used, I wanna show you. The rollers that I used the rollers that I use are these same rollers I used last week. You know, the anti-magnetic rollers. You just snap them in. I mean, they like real easy to use. They use it super easy to use. Um, they can be a little slippery with this foam wrap than the other foam wraps I use. For some reason, it's just way more slippier. This one is just way more slippy. Uh, uh, slip. It has, I can barely get it out. It's just very slippery. So these just kept falling out. So I, I parted them extra small a little bit smaller than they usually do, just to make sure that they had a good clasp on them and that they wouldn't fall out. But, so, yeah. Um, so I, I figured that's what wasn't what it was. So anyway, try it again. This time I used a heavier oil, like a castor oil, and I applied that to my hair first. And then I applied the foam wrap over it and I was not light-handed with it as you can see because I need a lot because my hair is so thick like a little bit was wasn't gonna go it wasn't gonna work so I used a good amount of that wrote my hair in little sections all around in the circle of form like in a circle of motion so I got to the very top and rolled the very top but that is how I um, rolled the hair um, I let the hair dry overnight for eight hours and then i let it i just now took him out so we're at uh, 258 so i'm just now taking the rollers out and my hair is completely dry so uh, after hours of drying so yeah so um what i recommend the system first yes the shampoo and conditioner was a really good combination the fact that i didn't use heat on my hair and this actually worked says volumes for it for the actual fortifying conditioner. I feel like it does strengthen the hair. The hair was easy to detangle. You, you know, in the shower, I didn't really detangle a whole lot. I just was able to run my fingers through it without any effort. Um, and then I rinsed out with cool water. The, um, so both of these together are really good in hydrating and moisturizing for the hair. Um, and then the leave-in, I felt like the leave-in was a really good leave-in. I was able to easily uh, section my hair and um, roll my hair with the leave-in so like I said I applied my leave-in after I did the conditioner I left in left in the leave-in and then um, after that I applied an oil the first time I applied the oil I used a lighter oil which is just another oil I have I made that I really um, is really like a everyday oil for growth but what I really needed was an oil for moisture because my hair was so, so, so dry. So I used the castor oil. Basic oil formulation of this is just black castor oil. You just use regular black castor oil and then you just put your few drops of aromatherapy essential oils for, you know, depending on what you need. You know, I'm mainly focused on um, my scalp condition, which is, this is really good for healing the scalp. And then, um, you know, grow. So that's what I mainly focused on. And then after that, I applied the lotion and that's it, rolled it. Tried to roll it very neat. I did apply a, a hairnet over my head and it slept in that just to, just to make sure the rollers stayed in place because they were like really slippery, like unbelievably slippery. <laughs> So I put that in there and that was good to go. Like to me, it's really hard 
to do roller sets and going in the dryer. I've tried it. It's so hard for me to. I just, I just, I don't enjoy a dryer. I know many people don't, but I really don't. Um, and then the whole goal of this for me is to find um, styles that work that are easy to do, but are always really pretty and simple. And then I know that you can recreate this at home if you have the products that you need. This should be something that you can easily recreate, like without any effort. I would, I would expect that anybody with or without a license should be able to recreate the same exact look as long as you have rollers, as long as you have a, um, a really good foam wrap with an oil base. If you can't get Nairobi um, foam wrap, then try the Dew. That's another roller um, texture foam that I really like. Um, I did use oil with it as well because I just, I mean, I don't know. Usually when I don't use any oil, I, I use it just usually just doesn't work out the way I exactly I want it to look. So I always use a little oil, but of course it's up to you and it also depends on the texture of your hair if you need that. Like some people with fine hair don't need all that heaviness. You know, they just need a maybe just, just a foam wrap. A foam wrap will probably just smooth their hair out and leave them with a sufficient shine. Because I have coarse, super thick, dense hair, 4B hair mostly. I have like a little air in the front that's 4A, but it's barely hardly anything. Most of my hair is 4B, so I have more of a uh, coarser texture of hair. So everything does not work in my hair. And that's why I wanted to get back on YouTube because I feel like if it can work in my hair, it probably can work in your hair because more than likely your hair is similar to mine. You know, it's probably similar to mine, if not, you know, a little bit easier to manage. So I wanted to be able to offer um, help for people that are challenged with, you know, doing their hair at home. It can be done. It can be done with the right products, with the right, you know, system. It can be done with the right hair care routine, just having a really easy hair care routine makes life a lot easier. As far as tonight when I go to bed, I will not be rolling my hair again. I broke my hair two nights in a row. Will not be rolling my hair again. I will be probably putting like Bantu knots in my hair and Bantu knots will, will create a really pretty um, soft curl, something that I can rock tomorrow without any problems. <laughs> so. I will go walking tonight. That'll be my workout tonight. Tonight I'll be walking a couple of miles. So that'll be my workout tonight. After I'm done walking, then I will do my um, Bantu knots and, and then go to bed and get up in the morning and then let my Bantu knots out. I'll be ready to go. So there will not be any additional products needed unless I feel like my ends need a little oil, but more than likely, I don't need more oil. Like I have enough oil in my hair. It looks like I have enough oil in my hair that can keep my hair for at least a day. Now I will be applying something tomorrow just to keep the moisture locked in. But other than that, it's a really easy, effortless style that anyone can achieve um, at home. So if you like these type of videos and you feel like this video was very informative to you and you would like to see more videos like this, definitely consider subscribing to my channel so that and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss a post so that when I come out with my next heatless hairstyle tutorial, if, even if it's the same type, but just different products, <laughs> um, the goal is just to make it easy for you guys. So um, you will get that notification. Subscribe, um, share with a friend that has natural hair and that likes natural makeup looks. And yeah, follow me on my social media on Instagram as well, because I'm very active on there as well. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for taking time to watch my heatless roller set review. Again, this time with Carol Daughter products and the Ruby style made. Bone wrap. See you soon.